Hey guys, how can you pass a knot on the rope when repelling with a figure of eight rappel device? So this device over here. Yeah, let's just try it. The knot I use is a double overhand. I learned this from uh, Axel Manz in his robust rescue rigging. It easily slides over edges. So if you pull down the rope or if you lower someone over the edge, it doesn't get stuck that easy. Now if you want to repel over this with a normal figure of eight, you have a problem. That is, the knot is just too big to pass through the descender. So let's just demonstrate this. Big knot, figure of eight. No, just doesn't fit through touches it, I can bounce. Yeah, I can see it's just too big to pass through this standard aid. Now let's just use a rescue aid, so it's a lot bigger. So rescue figure of aid, not just slides in. I can help it a bit. It slides around and through. Now let's do this outside on the wall. Super easy, just close to the knot, hand over it. Pass it through slowly, try not to get hit in the face, and that's it. So you see it's super simple to pass a knot with the big fat rescue aid descender. But yeah, I was using a double overhand. Will a fisherman's band also work? So fisherman's band with a standard figure of eight descender. Rope goes through the figure of eight. Oh, almost. It could almost fit through. Maybe if I... First stick the tail through, or it gets badly stuck, I will see. Or I will just fall on the ground and break my butt. Oh, oh, that's not nice. Now it's jammed in there, sideways. Oh yeah, now it slides, yeah, yeah. And now, oh, let's pull the tail through. Okay, now I guess it's really stuck. <laughs> My opinion, this doesn't work. If you make it somehow work, you spend a lot of time on the rope pulling and doing stuff. That's not good. So let's try the big descender. The knot touches the eight. Let's manage the tails. Okay, first one is through. Now let's pull the tail here. Oh. It sits on the edge of this. Let's give it a second try. Okay, so here it comes. Manage the tails. Hoppa. again stuck. So with the fisherman's band it was not able to slide through this uh, big figure of eight. Maybe a double fisherman's band would be possible. Let's try it with two wraps on each side, not with three, so the knot in general is shorter. So double fisherman's band. It's a lot shorter. Let's manage the tail somehow. Yeah, got it through. One more try. Manage the tails. <coughs> yeah, the so double fisherman's bend with the big figure of eight rappel device works. Now let's try the double fisherman's bend with the small. Figure of eight. So double fisherman's band with small figure of eight. Manage the tails. Nope. It's got stuck. Nope. Got stuck in the figure of eight. Yeah, it's just too small. That's what she said. 
So if you want to repel over a knot with a descender, size matters. The normal thick of H descender was too small to be used with this 11 mm rope, but using the big rescue aid descender worked especially well on the ropes joined with a double overhand. This is my preferred rope joining knot. I learned this from Axel Manns. And yeah, this is a heated debate as the Facebook comments show. Some people prefer the double fisherman's bend and need to use this somehow. And yeah, with this it was also possible in my opinion or from my feeling not as reliable because it can stuck a bit. But with the triple fisherman's knot it was not possible because this got stuck in the figure of eight descender. So yeah, that's it. Stay safe out there. Watch out what you're doing and tell me in the comments what do you think about me wearing a mask. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.